Hi guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, and this is in the evening of the last day of July, but I'll post this video probably tomorrow. Why? Because the diamond <laughs> is just about polished, and I'll tell you why. For those of you that are looking for a small, lightweight camper that's cheap, I'm not going to say well-built, I'm going to say cheap, as in C-H-E-A-P, with the old aluminum siding, you know what I mean? Well, old Rusty found one. He did. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. I won't tell you the price until the end. The length is 17.42 feet, or 17 feet 6 inches, round numbers. The width of the whole thing is 7.3 feet, 88 inches. How about height? The whole thing, top to bottom, is 9 feet, 0.67 inches, or 116 inches. Interior height, 76 inches, 6 foot 4. How about that? <laughs> Dry weight. You're going to love this. 2,289 pounds. Payload capacity, 1,328 pounds. So you could actually carry 3,634 pounds. But I found out today that the towing capacity on my truck is really only 3,500 pounds. The real number. So, that's okay. Hitch weight, 319 pounds. So I'll be, I'll be carrying fully loaded about 2,600 pounds. Okay, so that gives me about a thousand pounds of room. I wish I had more, but I'm not going to tow it a lot. I'm going to tow it to one spot and camp. Now the next thing. Number of uh, fresh water, 33 gallons. Gray water, 25 gallons. Black water tank, 25 gallons. Propane tank, one. Five oh. It's a 20 pound or 5 gallon propane tank, but it's only propane only. Propane only. It's not propane and electric. Body material, aluminum. Number of doors, 1. Number of slide outs, 0. Awnings, 1. Leveling jack, rear manual. Uh, da, 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 da. It's got a two burner stove with a vent hood. It's got a compact refrigerator with a freezer. Okay, and the refrigerator is electric or propane. Uh, da, 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 da. Bathrooms, one. Full bath with a regular toilet and a regular to uh, shower with a tub. Ha, ah, ah, ha, how about that? It's a small tub, but it's a tub. Uh, so you got to have a shower curtain and all that stuff. 14 inch radial tires. Got a spare tire, important. Uh, got uh, brakes, electric brakes. Uh, it's got a battery power converter. Uh, the air conditioning is pre-wired, but it is a, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, cable pre-wiring, yeah. Phone, no. Heating, yes, yes, yes. Satellite, no. Uh, it doesn't have an antenna. <laughs> oh, I gotta get, I'll get to more in a minute. Air conditioning, automatic. 5,000 BTUs. I'll expand on that in a minute. Uh, again, water tank is 6 gallon propane only. No radio. No surround sound. No outside speakers. Number of CD player. None. No CD player. Number of televisions. Zero! <laughs> this is, I could have designed this thing. Primary color is tan with a little black on the bottom. Rich. That's rich. Tan and black. Uh, anyway, now let me give you some more stuff. The name of it is, it's a Coachman. They're not, it's not the most, it's as good as any, okay? If you catch them on the right day, they do pretty good. It's a 16-foot Clipper, C-L-I-P-P-E-R, Clipper Cadet 16, C as in Charlie, B as in boy, H as in whatever, home. Uh, you're going to love this. 
$9,750 delivered to my local RV dealer who, who handles Coachman. That doesn't include, you know, tax and all the fees and crap, but $9,750. Hello, Rusty. Yes, yes, yes. No roof AC. No microwave. No TV or antenna. No sound system. Uh, approximately 2,400 pounds. Perfect. Uh, 17 foot 5 inch total length round numbers. 6 foot 6 inch interior. Perfect. I can stand up and walk around just like I do in this little 26 foot bunkhouse Jayco model I got right now. Just like, just like home, only smaller. Full bath. It's got bunk beds and it's got a dining dining room area where you can put down the table and have you almost a queen size bed if you want one but I think I'll just sleep on one of the bunk beds and use the other bunk bed for storage Woo! it's got a single sink in the kitchen only uh, and it's plastic I'm sure it's got a high deal it's got a high arch faucet thing two burner stove top on and on it goes right the furnace is 20,000 BTUs. Why? Because that's the same furnace they put in all of them. Ha! Huh, big deal. The window AC unit is mounted uh, up and to the right of the kitchen sink, and it is a 5,000 BTU, like window type AC, mounted. And guess what? If it goes out, you can buy another one for 100, 100 bucks at Walmart. Anywhere. Anywhere. Okay? Love it. I mean, I could I could design this thing. The engineer that did this needs to be, if it's a female, she needs to be kissed right on the lip. If it's a man, well, pat him on the back. Storage. Under the dining, uh, the, under the bunk bed on the bottom. We got above by the dining table. Plenty of storage. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Uh, it's got, uh, of course, the tanks are okay. Single axle, skylight in the bath. Now, the skylight in the bath does not have a vent fan, I don't think. I couldn't see it in the pictures. But what I think I'll do is I'll just have them swap that little thing out and put me a, a, a fantastic fan in there. How about that? Could I do that? Yeah, I could do that. Uh, the entry door is in the right place. It's in the front. So that matches up with my deck, just like my RV now, perfectly. Because I live, I got my RV parked under a, an aluminum cover. It, it, I've got a deck built up against it. So anyway, it'll all work. And it's the right height. To match up with my deck without having to do a damn thing but back in. Uh, of course, 20 pound propane tank. Uh, it's got a fridge with a freezer. I've said that it's tw the, fri the refrigerator is 12 volt, 110 electric, or gas, or propane. Uh, and the best part is, folks, it's $11,000 out the door. Ha! <laughs> you got me? And I can tow it. It's just like home. It's just this thing on miniature. It, it, it's wonderful. Oh, I love it, guys. I, and uh, have I made a deal on it? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, they've, they're they going to order one. I'm going to go by there on Wednesday, uh, firm up the deal. Of course, that gives me a full day to kind of really check out my thinker. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I run out there on a limb and just go into la-la land. But anyway, that's where it is right now, guys. So you people that are looking for an inexpensive RV, see, that they don't have these on very many dealers' lots. Now, anybody that handles, any dealer that handles a coachman, it, but it's men, not coachman. It's C-O-A-C-H-M-E-N, okay? Coachman, Clipper, 16C-B-H. That's the one you want, and it is perfect. I mean, you could tow this with a, I'm towing it with a six-cylinder pickup, or I will be, but again, I'm not going to be towing it a lot. I'm just going to tow it to a certain spot, park for the summer, and I'm good to go. But anyway, I just had to do this video because uh, I was getting a little frustrated. Because I was in, in heaven, I, today I was at a dealership that had every, almost, not every, but almost every small, micro, mini, travel trader, camper thing you could think of. I mean, they had a lot, probably 30 different types, at least. And uh, 
and I got a little frustrated because I didn't want a bath, wet bath, where you got to stand over the toilet to take a shower. I wanted to be able to stand straight up. How about that? Is that asking too much? No. And I didn't want to pay $20,000 to get it. I found it. <laughs> you know, you find things, you keep looking. You keep looking and you keep digging. Sooner or later, you'll find it. But guess what? If you quit looking, you'll never find it. But anyway, the diamond is starting to shine pretty good in my mind right now. Because I think this will work for me because I can tow it <clears throat> with my truck. You know, it's a little heavier than I would have liked. I would like it to be about 500 pounds lighter, but you can't get it perfect. And uh, But knowing that I'm just going to tow it to one location and park, fine. And on the way out of Texas, if it's hot, I'll just pull into an RV park or state park that has electric and run the old AC. Okay, what about that? And then if I need, oh, how about this? It doesn't have a TV? You can buy one at Walmart for 100 bucks, 130 bucks. Do everything I want to do. Poke in a little Roku stick, Roku stick, and you're good to go. Antenna? I don't need antenna. I don't watch that crap anyway. All right, and as far as a uh, sound system, hello, I, do I make sounds? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, do I need a sound system from hell? No, no, no. I don't. I never have wanted it. Any of this crap. So anyway, uh, and you can buy all that. Oh, how about it doesn't have an oven? Oh no, Rusty, you're telling me your camper doesn't have an oven? No, it does not have an oven. Guess what? You can buy a little oven thing at Walmart for twenty bucks. That'll make pizzas and do anything you want to do. Toast, whatever the hell you want to do. And get, and there's a spot. And I can buy a microwave for fifty bucks and stick it in a hole that's already up there, you know, and then when I'm plugged into uh, 110, I'll use it, pop popcorn or whatever the hell I want to do. I mean, life's tough, isn't it? But anyway, having said that, uh, I just wanted to let you know, folks, that for you guys that are looking for a lightweight, inexpensive camper, I highly recommend that you check out the Coachman, C-O-A-C-H-M-E-N, Clipper, 16 CBH. Now it may be something that you you don't want or don't care for, but that's fine. Uh, it's not well. It's not you know on a zero to ten scale. If you know if if a, if a ten is an airstream and a zero is a tent, uh, this is probably a five or a six. Okay. <clears throat> so having said that, uh, check it out. Uh, they got one in Florida. They got one in Florida for $8,300. $8,300. I'm telling you, maybe I still got that link. I'll tell you where it is. Let's see if this is it. I'm looking, I'm looking. This one is, what's well, a new? Do, 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 do. Well, it doesn't have the price. But it says sold. That's why it doesn't have a price. Let me try another. Anyway, they, they, if you check out, if you go to RV Trader and, and, and do a search for RV Clipper Cadet uh, 16 CBH Coachman 2018, you can buy them for under $10,000. Amazing. And they that you can tow it. You can tow it with, with, a, with a six cylinder. You can tow it. Four cylinder ain't going to work. Uh, small V8, no problem at all. But anyway, having said that, guys, this is Rusty78609 polishing the old diamond, and it's getting damn close. I fixed to pull the trigger on this deal, I think. So I'll let you know on Wednesday for sure. I'll post this video probably on Tuesday. But, uh, yep, we're getting close. But anyway, guys, thumbs up, carpet diem, adios, bye, 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 USA, Meg, when you can, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. You may pee like a racehorse or a two or three peckered possum, but you'll feel a hell of a lot better. And you will avoid gout and kidney stones. And if you're a diabetic, it helps your insulin, lowers your insulin level. Take deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Do that several times a day. Why? Because it relieves stress. Relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Lowering your blood pressure is good for you. Next thing, eat less. That's it. You can't lose weight by eating the same amount every day. Don't eat out. Wow, what a genius guy I am. I must be a doctor. I don't know shit about being a doctor. But having said all those simple little things, do those and you may not have to ever go to a doctor, all right? So anyway, from Central Texas, 
Enjoy your day. This is the last day of July, and this will be posted manana tomorrow. Bye-bye. The diamond is getting close to polished on this one.